Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some popcorn for you. I have the Safe and Fair Food Company Honey Crisp Apple Pie and the Pumpkin Pie. And I have the Candy Pop. This one is the Sour Patch Kids. So these are different prices, of course, different brands found in different places. Uh, the Safe and Fair is a 7.5 ounce bag. They were $5.99 each at the fresh market. So $6 for bag popcorn. The Candy Pop was $2.98 at Walmart. And it is a 5.25 ounce bag. So it's a, it's a small bag. So Safe and Fair, you might recognize that name. And that's because we have reviewed their granolas on the channel in the past. And gosh, it's amazing. Um, I've seen ads uh, for all kinds of flavors that they have, but we don't get those flavors in our area. Uh, you ha would have to go to their website and order them. So anytime I can find something local from them, I'm going to get it because I do know the granola was excellent quality and the flavors were right on. They were really good. Uh, so, Honey Crisp Apple, it's clean, allergy friendly, gluten free, non-GMO, vegan, kosher, whole grain, plant based, zero trans fat, cholesterol free, no artificial ingredients, preservative free, no high fructose corn syrup. Uh, made in a facility free from peanuts, tree nuts, eggs, shellfish, fish, and sesame. Made in a facility that manufactures products in cl uh, containing milk, wheat, and soy. And these are manufactured in Chicago, Illinois. One ounce, 28 grams is 140 calories. And I'm using scissors. You can open it whatever way you want. Kevin is a Honeycrisp Apple fanatic. I love Honeycrisp Apple. Ooh, I like the. They kind of stuck together. Coating. Mm-hmm. Definitely has the apple water, for sure. Oh wow. Those are good. I love that coating. Yeah. Um, most of them have a little coating on them. Some of them don't you see look the like apple? this one. But like this one doesn't have anything on it. But look, that's mm -hmm. a little apple piece. Yeah. That's good. It's really good popcorn. Uh, the coated pieces are very strong apple flavor. Mm -hmm. The ones that aren't coated still have a little bit of a popcorn, just a popcorn flavor, so it still tastes good. Um, I think it's good. I think it's a little expensive, but I do think it's good. I think it's delicious. Yeah, it's very, very good. Um, I don't know the, what has kept me from ordering from the website, because I've looked at it many, many times, is you get multiple bags of the same flavor. Uh, if I'm ordering it, I'm ordering it because we're going to review it for this channel. I want every single bag to be different. If they offer, a multi -bag. if they offer ten different flavors, I want uh, I want ten different flavors. I don't want two of each flavor. That's that. It's just too many for me, um, and that is what has kept me from ordering. Um, now, if I could order every different flavor they had, that would be awesome. I know they had some special ones out for the Fourth of July. But I think the quality is top notch. It really is. You taste the apple. It, you do. The, the popcorn does have some holes, the skins. You do get those in your in your teeth. Um, you do get the apple. Plus, there is a drizzle on it that mm -hmm. is, is excellent. Texture. The popcorn itself is, is crunchy. It's good. This is the uh, pumpkin pie drizzle popcorn, and it's kettle pop. Um, it's also vegan and all that. It's 140 calories. That is a nice flavor too. It's a, it's a sweet pumpkin spice flavor. Mm, that's nice. I like that one as well as the apple. The apple is really strong, tart apple. That's a really strong, sweet apple, I mean, uh, pumpkin pie flavor. We have not reviewed the Angie's Boom Chicka Pop. Now, I love Angie's Boom Chicka Pop. I really do. We have not reviewed their pumpkin pie in many years. But I remember that it was one of the ones that I did not like at all because they use a lot of powder. It was a lot of pumpkin spices. spice powder. Yes. This does not have that. Mm. This also has like a... Um, a crispy layer on the outside mm -hmm. of like sugar. Yeah, that, so the you, kettle cooked really makes a difference. This is awesome. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for pumpkin pie 
uh, popcorn, this is what you want to buy. The Psycho yeah. Fair brand. It is, it's excellent. It's good. If you don't want something that's really strong spice, it's more of a sweet spice, mm -hmm. then, then this is the way to go. And that's what I want. Yeah. And you it's can good. feel that sugar mm -hmm. on the outside. It's delicious. How many servings? Seven and a half servings. <laughs> like one handful. Yeah, I'm, I'm really bad about popcorn. I just just eating and eating and eating because it, 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 both of those are very. If you could only choose, since both of those are the same brand, honey crisp apple. I'd probably or pick the apple. Not per personally, I'd pick the apple, and you'd probably pick the pumpkin. I would pick the pumpkin, no. which surprises me because that apple is pretty delicious yep. too. Um, <clears throat> now this is completely different. Different company, different. Energy. Different company. Um, 150 calories for one serving, non-GMO, low sodium, made in America, candy pop popcorn, uh, Sour Patch Kids, made with Sour Patch Kids bits. Um, actually, our daughter loves Sour Patch Kids. They're like her favorite thing ever. I think Andrew always liked them too. Five servings in the container, one and a fourth cups, 30 grams is 150 calories. These are distributed out of Windermere, Florida www.snackssensationalbrands.com and that's spelled S-N-A-X. Okay, let's just open it. And they have a bunch of different flavors of this candy pop. But now this does not say vegan and all that like the other day. <laughs> the safe and fair. Oh, this is huge. What? That's, that's weird popcorn. going from that popcorn to this. This is the big puffy pop. Yeah, wow. But don't you it's like this popcorn? It's usually a little popcorn? softer. Yeah, it has less... Uh, Halls in it. it smells good. What I've noticed is it doesn't have a ton of the little bits, the little candy bits, but they're here and there. And they're all blue. Do they have anything else that blue? They have, oh, yeah, they have red in here. Oh, there's one little red one. Hey. Yeah. I really like that. Mm -hmm. It's good in a different way. Mm hmm. It's like night and day. That, this actually tastes like, I, this, not that that, not that the safe and fair feels like you're eating something healthy because it doesn't. But when you go from having apple to having candy, mm -hmm. there's a difference. Literally between candy. The, yeah, literally candy. There's a difference. One is healthier. <laughs> um, and the difference, the huge difference, is in the, the popcorn itself. The texture is a little different. Um, That's I, not I quite love as, the popcorn. I do too. It's not quite as crunchy as the first two because it's a, that bigger popcorn. Mm -hmm. It's good though because we've had popcorn recently that was a very soft popcorn. This is a crunchier popcorn than that, but I really like the flavor of the 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 candy on the pieces because mm -hmm. even if they're teeny tiny little pieces, you get that flavor and mm -hmm. it's really strong. And once the popcorn's gone. You're pulling some of that candy, it's that sour patch, water. out of your teeth. Yeah, not mm -hmm. bad though. Just little pieces of it mm -hmm. stuck in your teeth. And I'm very sweet. Because I'm worried after seeing it, there's really not a whole lot sticking to the pieces, but you get tons. You of get water. plenty of it, and you actually do taste sour patch kids. It tastes like sour patch mm -hmm. kids. So, Starts out sour, and then it turns into the sweet candy. Yeah. I I really like it very much. Mm -hmm. I like it much more than I expected yeah. to like it. Honestly, I'd, out of the three, I'd probably pick that one. For a, like a everyday snack kind of thing, I'd probably pick that one. Mm. Well, it's hard to compare. It is they're hard to compare, totally but they're totally different. They're really totally if different. If they're in the cabinet, which one am I reaching for first? The I can tell you that as far as these candy pop popcorns go, we've tried a bunch of them, and um, I know they have one right now that's exclusive to like Sam's Club or Costco or something like that. We do not have a Sam's Club or Costco membership. Uh, if they start selling it next year in the regular store, we'll get it. Uh, but um, this is one that I think delivers on the flavor, mm -hmm. where some of the other ones are... They're just okay. They're okay. This is the one that really delivers the flavor, so yeah. this would be the one that I, I would get. As far as the candy pop, I would get that. Yeah, oh, I think yeah. it's delicious. Yeah. I think they're all good. They're just... I do think it's a good price point, too. Um, and you know, they're selling it at Walmart, so it's a good right. price point. But now I've seen the safe and fair granola when I bought it, I've, I've seen it at uh, Walmart as, as well as the candy pop. So you can get their granola. Haven't seen the popcorn yet, but I'll be on the lookout for it. But honestly, all three of these are winners. It just yeah. depends on what you're in the mood for. Yeah. 
Yep, 100%. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.